Hello. Okay, I want to address the type of people that have gone on to my daughter's video wherever it has been posted online. So my daughter's video has gone viral. It's a video talking to the UK Prime Minister uh, who's currently Theresa May about homelessness and she's very passionate and articulate and very expressive in her little ways and she's only five and that video has gone viral, it's gone huge. So I want to address Rather than get into uh, commenting on things where I, it's, it's flashing up on my newsfeed a lot. So rather than getting into commenting at all of them, which will drain my energy and be really negative and not be helpful at all to anybody and with no end in sight, um, I thought I'd address the people directly. Okay. I might have to speak slowly because they're not that bright. Okay. So Brooks five. Okay. Um, five-year-olds are really, really inquisitive. They're humans before all the other social rubbish has been plonked on top of them. So they see the world really simply, black and white approach to life. There is no nuance. And nuance means sort of um, that little grey bit in the middle. There is none of that for children. They see things as goodies and baddies. And yes, for adults, that is slightly simplistic. But often, we could do with a massive dollop of that in our worlds instead of chitter-chattering between ourselves and getting nothing done. Now, some of you that have commented on the video have said things like, you lefty parents indoctrinating your children. There's a lot of capital letters. Um, so yes, I am definitely a lefty parent, without a doubt. And I don't think that's an insult. Whatever your political affiliation is, um, I'm more than happy to be seen as a lefty, peaceful, tree-hugging hippie. That I can't, I really find it difficult to find why that is so offensive to you. Um, you know, as opposed to right-wing crazies, um, racists and, you know, that side of things. That seems a little more extreme. Um, when I say I'm, I'm left-wing, I, I tend to, you know, think about things like sharing things out and social justice and stuff. It's hardly insulting. But anyway, you find it, it's your insult. Um, so yes, I am a lefty parent. Guilty as charged on that one. Um, indoctrination. Indoctrination. Did you look up the word? Did you? You did. Okay, so if you looked up the word, you will see indoctrination means without sort of um, being, you know, without being allowed to have any other opinion. Well, my children are perfectly capable of having their own opinions. That's what I teach them. And sometimes that's hard to rein in because my job as a parent is to bring up a great little human, a good adult. And so I have to play the long game a little bit and think, do you know what? That articulate, lovely little child that is on that video will one day grow up to be an articulate, lovely adult with some great compassionate views and wanting to stand up for people. And sometimes that means that as a child, you've got a very strong willed little character and Brooke will often challenge me. And that's what's great about children because they do see things how we don't. They don't have any of the stuff that we put, all the social norms and things, they don't understand them. So they talk very eloquently and very clearly about things and very passionately. Um, what are the precocious? Oh, you love this word, don't you? You love the word precocious. Um, and it's always precocious little kid. Okay, do you know what? Precocious is a word that gets used by adults to insult and disrespect children that are smarter to, smarter than them. That's what I've come to realise. And those people always have their own baggage going on. So if you feel the need, darling, sweetheart, pop it, to call a five-year-old girl with lovely, compassionate opinions, precocious, you fill your boots, you go ahead. But just know that that's coming from you. That's your own insecurities about your own level of intelligence and that's okay. And I won't judge you on that. I will just say that you need to maybe just check in with yourself and just work out where you're at. 
on that. Um, one of the things have been said that she was spoon fed the information. Well, she wasn't. She listens to lots of different things. Of course, she listens to me. I'm a parent and we talk freely and I give her information. But I always say to Brooke and my other daughter, Texas, that I'm not the only person out there that they have to get their information from other people that and I will give them other opinions even if they're opposed to mine. So often children talk about life after death and God and is there a God? I'm an atheist, I don't believe in God. And Brooke and my daughter Texas know that I don't. However, I also say, hey, we've got Muslim neighbours and we've got uh, Catholic people or whatever. And I'll say, and they believe this stuff. And yes, I might think it's a load of all rubbish, but that's okay. And you don't have to believe what I say. And at the moment, Brooke says she does believe in a God. Um, she said she doesn't believe it's totally real, but she believes there is a God and he lives in the sky. I've talked about this. I've let her speak about this in a previous video. That is not an indoctrinated child. That is a child that questions and thinks and asks, you know, learns and is, has a zest for life. That's not indoctrination um, or being spoon fed. Uh, she's been accused of being an actor, which... Pfft, the reality is I've been an actress my whole life. I was 11 when I started on kids TV. There's no doubt about it. Even if I try and fight it sometimes and say, ah, she doesn't have to be, she doesn't have to go into acting. Do you know what? The, the likelihood is both me and my husband are confident and silly and fun and we're not really bothered about what people think and that we're not, we don't get easily embarrassed. And so there's no doubt about the fact that Brooke's characteristics and how she speaks will be, you know, more like an actor child than not. And hey, do you know what? It's held me in good stead. I was a, a child actor. I was that kid that spoke eloquently. And you know what? I've got a really good life because of it. So I'm not going to stop my child from expressing herself and being how she is. And she'll probably, yes, uh, and again, this is another thing that's been said, she will look back and think she looks like a total nerd and she will laugh her head off and go, Mum, what on earth did you upload that for? And I will tell her the same I'm telling you. You asked me to upload it and you said you wanted to get it to the Prime Minister. So that's what we did. Um, so to all of you people, you you little angry sausages, you, um, who have to comment on, on newspapers and threads and you really get angry and you hide behind like eggs on Twitter. You don't put your profiles and, and you shout and you, you sort of... It gets called a troll, doesn't it now? Troll, troll. Um, whatever it is, I, I, it's mostly just really really insecure people so when I read them I do think oh my whoa you've got some negative energy going on there flowers um so I wish you well and I really sincerely hope that you learn to spend your time doing more productive and uh, peaceful things than writing really aggressive nasty stuff on a video of a little girl who's five who's also who has a lot going on her own play actually her dad has grade four brain cancer and she you know she just saw her dad have his second brain surgery and then he's having chemotherapy and stuff so she's like she's a very grown-up little girl very kind-hearted grown-up little girl so instead of sending all your venom and your angry you know your your feelings of anger at your own life and your own insecurity instead of venting it that way maybe you should do something more productive maybe you should get out there and, and do something to help the homeless because that's what Brooke's doing she saw something she didn't like and she's doing her best as a five-year-old we're also giving money as best we can but it's more about campaigning, isn't it, than just handing over every single penny that you earn. We give a lot to charity, a lot, and we're very, very so. We have, you know, we're very socially aware as a family, and we do our best. And we urge that you do the same and help and try and just connect with people on a more personal level, rather than feeling the need to shout angry slurs at a five-year-old. Um, and that's it, really. We have had some wonderful conversations. Today we spent uh, some time with Paul, who uh, with BBC Midlands Today. And Paul was homeless for eight weeks, slept in his car, and he now has a place to stay. Really nice guy, really intelligent guy. Used to work in PR, used to be earning hundreds of thousands of pounds a year. And he says now, with very little money, 
starting completely afresh, he's happier than he's ever been and him and Brooke are going to start a little revolution themselves, a real, real cool guy. Um, so you know what, all positive things to have come of it, Brooke's had a great experience meeting different people and, and plenty of opportunities are now coming her way and so all you negative people, have it back. we're happy and positive and Brooke's having a great time. And a massive thank you to all you lovely people out there who have been supportive and, and get it and, and just realise it's a great way to generate conversation, get people talking, get the Prime Minister talking hopefully and thinking and that is all. Have a lovely evening, day, wherever you are and I will speak to you all soon. Bye guys, peace. Mm -hmm.